Kenjernstedt field weather. Wind calm, visibility more than 10. Sky clear, temperature 13, dew point minus 14. Altimeter 2992. Hi guys, HT605MA here and in this video I'd like to talk about quite a few things actually so uh, I decided uh, to work on this video in a different way than usual uh, I have written down the uh, text in advance and will be reading it uh, during uh, my test flight of the new hardware I will be talking about uh, a few moments later so uh, I hope this will be more you know, fluent and concise uh, rather than you know flying and talking at the same uh, time. So I hope you guys like the uh, new format of the video, and if you do, please uh, write something in comments about it. So uh, let's start. So, in this video I would like to talk about the recent important updates uh, that happened to SimChair project uh, during the month of May, which are the EVA collective lever body, the VRMAX head that has been ported from Mark III version of the software, some important changes to file structure and naming convention of the project, the new tool called SimChair hardware configurator, some changes to configuration structure of the master firmware best way to test SimChair hardware with joystick Gremlin software and the use of Arduino Pro Mega board, the new awesome board I have found uh, on the internet. So let's start with hardware part. Uh, let's talk about the EVA lever body at first. I've talked about the new EVA collective base in a few recent videos on the channel, but if you've joined recently, here are a few words about the main features of the new base. 
And first, the possibility of choice between the USB interface, which is good if you only want the collective to complete your awesome existing hardware setup, and the Squared C version, which is better if you're building the whole system. Then, it's two mode switches, one for assigning three different sets of joystick buttons to physical switches, the other one for operating up to three throttle access with a single physical throttle grip. Overall better design, the base box is for a drone and the body was redesigned from scratch. Uh, the throttle frame parts are much more sought out. Uh, I will be talking about this in a few moments. Pneumatic mode is replaced with lubricated friction tensioner. A uh, lithium grease prevents the tensioner from biting into the lever connector part and it moves smoothly even with heaviest of the heads, which uh, you're seeing on the screen right now. So I've been asked to port the VR Max collective head to the current version of the software and after attaching it to the Mark IV lever with a new base, I noticed that I didn't really like the feel of the Mark IV lever body with uh, the heavier VR Max head, which is the heaviest one at the moment, by the way, the lever felt a bit wobbly, so I thought it might be a good moment to redesign the lever body. The recent bodies all have about 200 degree throttle grip range, which is realistic according to the words of my friend who is an aero pilot and on the 206 and the rotary, so he's probably the one to trust. This range allowed me to fit two strengthening M4 screws into the lever body instead of one. The original body was designed around the standard 16K1 potentiometer range of 300 degree, but I've been able to reduce the angle without losing too much of precision with software means. With two screws instead of, instead of one and redesigned throttle frame house connectors, the new body is rock solid and is much stronger than before. I've been testing the body with the VR Max head for around two and a half weeks now, and the body holds like, you know, like the head weights nothing, and the friction tensioner also works great with it. Now onto the VR Max head. Uh, the head is basically a radio on the classic instrument panel extension attached to the 412 head in its uh, most feature-rich variant. Uh, it has two potentiometers on its sides. The panel uses three mode switches that depend on each other and offers more than a hundred buttons in addition to 80 plus buttons of the 412 head itself. There's uh, a separate video about it on the channel, the link will be in the description, please look at it if you're interested. Uh, this head was a predecessor of the VR Max pedestal. Uh, if you guys want the controls to be on the collective head instead of the base, uh, this is probably your variant. You'll like it. So I ported the code from the Mark III version of the Master software, uh, fixed some bugs in it. Uh, so uh, it's pretty solid now. Uh, it's quite a cool thing actually and I uh, have to admit that it looks really awesome. Now on to the software side of things. Uh, let's talk about the important uh, thing which is the new file structure. Uh, so I decided to change the way the files are organized and named so they are easier to find and use. Initially I tried to rely on names of files and directories to show the order of building things and available options, which mostly led to a huge number of files and the presence of some older versions of certain files in some of the directories. So the new approach uses the Signature Hardware Configurator tool, which provides lists of files to print for each available lever option. The files themselves are now combined into a smaller number of directories. So, what has been 5 of 6 variants of the single throttle body is now combined into one single throttle body deer. Uh, the hardware configurator tools also contains information about the needed amount of plastic for each of the printed pieces. I also changed the way how files are named to reduce the length of parts and improve readability. New naming convention uses unique part numbers along with camel case names 
clearly describing the part. This approach ensures that a single, uh, as a single part is used in multiple lever variants, all of them will stay current and will be updated uh, you know, simultaneously. The next important thing I decided to do is to split the configuration of the master controller firmware into multiple files, one file per hardware piece. This approach allows you to update the software easier. You only have to compare the parts of configuration which are related to your hardware, not the whole large file, which means you have to look for just a few lines of, co uh, of configuration file. That also means you can copy your configuration files over the ones from the repo to quickly replace their contents with your custom settings. I'm not yet sure if you should merge configuration files with the files that contain the code or not. Please let me know what you think in the comments. Now, let's talk about something that was not particularly convenient, and that is testing of the hardware and joystick testers. A lot of SimChair hardware is fairly advanced and has more buttons that can be shown with Joy CPL or uh, even some online joystick testers. There is a software piece called uh, Pointis Joystick Tester, but it doesn't work on the latest releases of Win 10 without uh, installing some libraries and can only show up to 128 buttons. The VR Max head has more than that, so uh, testing had to be done in X-Plane and basically was a pain. So recently I've discovered that there's an awesome piece of software called Joystick Gremlin, which does not have a limit of buttons or maybe it's greater, greater than 154, which is the highest button number of the VR Max collective head. What's interesting, it allows you to combine a few of the joysticks on the screen uh, so you can test, uh, for example, the AB412 head and the VR Max panel uh, which are, you know, some 200 plus buttons together. This is quite awesome and so uh, this is the new recommended way to test the hardware. And the last thing I wanted to talk about in today's video, I found an awesome Arduino compatible board, which is the Pro Mega one. It has something like 47 digital pins and like 16 analog ones, which can also be used as digital ones. Uh, that means one such board can replace more than three Pro Minis, while uh, making the code simpler and reducing the soldering port load and the number of excess I2C cables inside of peripherals. This is quite awesome and I will probably be using it instead of multiple Pro Minis in the future. Thanks for watching guys, happy virtual flying, HC625MA, over and out. Instead field weather. Wind calm, visibility more than 10. Sky clear, temperature 13, dew point minus 14. Altimeter 2992.